Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, guess what? James Bond is always going to be a male. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and people are freaking out about that. Oh, of course they are. Of course they are, because there was speculation that James Bond was going to be a black woman, uh, because they have another character in the upcoming James Bond movie uh, that supposedly will take the mantle of 007, but I personally think it was just for that movie. But double, just because you have the 007 number doesn't mean you're James Bond. That is true. It doesn't mean you're James I'm, Bond. I'm just pointing that out. It's like a job, a yeah. job title. Yeah, pretty much. You know, you're you're number new, seven. So you're you the know. new VP of ass kicking uh, you know, this you month or whatever. Uh, so anyway, there was a lot of discussion that they would actually have a, a black female James Bond. It's been shot down by Barbara Broccoli, who is in charge of James Bond. She's a producer. And uh, the internet is freaking out. Of course they are. Because it's not fair. Because the takeaway isn't the right takeaway. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to talk about that. Instead of creating a new character. Instead it, of just creating a new character. That's what we keep saying. Yeah. And, you know, instead of... Well, they keep doing this. They keep taking and gender bending, race bending, whatever. Uh, sexual orientation bending. The characters. Uh, instead of just creating a new character. And I'm just like, this is dumb. If you an established character is already established character, you, do, you know, you don't just suddenly change them for no reason. You make a new character. I don't understand why this is so hard. And they mentioned it too, so it's not just me. It's it's about uh, latching onto an existing IP. Which we know Hollywood does all the time. Yeah, that's what this is all about. All of this that's been going on for the last like four or five years now, especially. Um, so we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. We're at almost 90,000 subs. It's just, it's just dragging now. I know, it's like it's January. I think, I think, no, I think we're YouTube? being like throttled or something. Cause it's for like, what? I don't know. Because it went from like, we're getting all these subs. to so, like now we're just like, eh, 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 It's eh, like, we're eh. like the least controversial. No. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an edgy dude, bro. That's how you introduce oh, me from now dude, on. Bro. You're, oh you're neon, and I'm edgy dude, bro. Edgy dude, bro. We are we are the most normy normy geeks channel out there, that's probably, uh, and, and that's problematic, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna talk about this uh, coming from BBC News. James Bond, Barbara Broccoli says character will remain male. The producer of the James Bond films has ruled out making the character female after Daniel Craig's departure, because they are going to replace Bond. They, they get mm -hmm. a fresh Bond every couple of years. No Time to Die. That's, that's the story of our life, right? Okay. No Time to Die. Uh, which, will, so. <laughs> which will be released in April. Marks Craig's final outing is 007, and his replacement has not yet been announced. Uh, James Bond could be of any color, but he is male. Producer Barbara Broccoli told Variety. Okay, so we already know now the next James Bond's not going to be white. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people thought to Idris Elba, maybe, but... Eh. Nah, I, I just it. don't really like him that much. That's just me. I mean, I don't, I don't care if it's that's why it's not white. I just really don't like him that much. I don't know why. I just well, I tell kind of, us how you really feel. I just, no, it's, it's just because he always acts like a stick up his rear. He's like, you know, to me, he's like, you know. Well, he should be James Bond. Versatile Brie Larson. You know, I'm just like, he always acts like a like stick Idris up his Elba. butt. I like Well, you're him. allowed to. He's but always a badass. To me, though. he always comes across like he's a stick up his butt. But that's just me. I, I don't know, because Bond is usually more refined. Mm. And Idris Elba seems like he would just punch a guy well, in the face. Well, I'm not saying he's not refined. Well. I don't know. I, I just, I just, I mean, okay. I guess I can see it because he kind of is like a, a tight ass. But I just, he always strikes me as just like, you know, stick up the butt. I don't know why. Everything uh, he plays. It's because his ass is tight. Um, that's Probably, why. me. that's why. All right, so this this got geeky. I sent her the story earlier today. I was like, yes, it's because not just me. It's not just her because Barbara Broccoli agrees with geeky. Can I just tell you for a minute how disappointed I was to find out that Barbara Broccoli was not actually Broccoli? What? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. What? This is Albert Broccoli's uh, wife? Just, I'm Daughter? Just, I'm not sure. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, I believe we should be creating new characters for women. Strong female yes, characters. Yes, what I've been saying. New characters. Strong female characters. Real strong female characters. Not just gender-bent characters, race-bent characters. Characters that are there for no other reason than, you know, some agenda that they're going to tell you they're strong, whether they are or not, is questionable. I'm not particularly interested in taking a male character and having a woman play it. I think women are far more interesting yes, than that. Yes, I think, I, I, and this applies to anything, whether it be race bending, gender bending, whatever. You know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair to either character, either version of the character. I think, you know, you, you give them a new character when that's for them. Right, right. There we go. The forthcoming Bond film will see uh, actress Lashana Lynch play a female double O agent after Craig's Bond has left. And apparently she 
will be 007, but I'm thinking by the end of the movie, somehow he'll get the mantle back. Mm -hmm. Like he, he basically quits, quits being a double O agent. And then by the end of the movie, he will be again. It's, it's, you know, cause they have to have it ready for the next James Bond who will be a male. Yes, but not white. Well, didn't say he wouldn't be just said they're open to the possibility. That but, means they're going to make him not white. I'm just telling you, but he won't have boobs unless he's very, very fat. How and about an Asian James Bond? Well, okay. But you know what they'll do? Because what? he's Asian, he knows karate. <laughs> I'm just telling you that's because that's what, because they yell about stereotyping. Yeah. But then they stereotype everybody. So it's funny. All right. Lynch was seen in character for the first time in the trailer, reigniting the conversation about whether James Bond himself could be recast as a woman. Uh, the answer is no. Broccoli oversees the franchise with her half brother, Michael G. Yeah, Wilson. So she's a, a woman saying no. Yeah. She's a woman. Yeah, right? Uh, for better or worse, we are the custodians of the character, she said. We take that responsibility seriously. Good, go her. Not enough people working in the entertainment industry take the uh, take take being custodians of legacy characters seriously. I agree 100%. Look what Thundercats Roar is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Thundercats Roar, prime Shira. example. Shira. So many, so many uh, legacy characters. Star Wars destroyed by people who, yeah who didn't I'm care sorry. who didn't care at least she cares uh pierce brosnan's final bond film die another day was a financial success but was criticized for pushing the boundaries of realism uh the film's plot involved a giant space laser and an invisible car uh sharks with lasers on their heads we got too fantastical referring to the film we had to come back to earth that's true casino royale was kind of a kind of a reset and it was a mm -hmm. grittier bond um i didn't care for some of the other I don't really watch James Bond movies. I've seen them. I just, there's, it's not my thing. I'm only here because I want to mention the fact that they brought up a valid point, a fantastic point, which is stop just gender bending, race bending all the characters that exist. Make better characters that are, you know, for that, for that person. Make their own character. Yeah. I mean, that's all I'm saying. That's what I've been saying. Uh, well, Casino Royale was fantastic. Um, Quantum of Solace I didn't really care for too much. Uh, anyway. I never watched the... Uh, either of them i saw part of casino royale them. i think i have one yeah you probably do i don't want to watch them they're not my they're, it's okay. not for me and i admit that james bond movies are chick flicks for guys i get that that's basically i respect what they are. that that's basically what they are i respect that and i respect your right to like it and i respect that it's a chick flick for a guy uh craig's era has in contrast more closely resembled the original ian fleming character in the books that's true uh, it's funny um the director of gold nine casino royale martin campbell said he wasn't convinced that daniel craig was the right choice barbara doesn't take no for an answer said craig it's not in her wheelhouse uh, i had a nice long break which i needed and then she was just persistent and came back to me with some ideas we started formulating it and i got excited uh so he's doing one more movie but here's the thing you know who who isn't excited let me guess twitter twitter oh i could have never would have guessed that twitter's not excited <laughs> twitter twitter just has just, yeah. Oh, James Bond will stay male, but woke critics won't stay quiet. Oh, surprise! All right, so we you talk... can just say critics won't stay quiet, because honestly, it doesn't matter whether you're woke or not. Well... If you're a critic, you're going to say something. That is their headline, not my headline. Right, but it's, I mean, to be, if I was going to be fair. You just know. say Twitter. Twitter won't stop. All right, here we go. Women can do anything, including be an international spy with a license to kill. Listen up, James Bond producers. It's 2020 and time to get over the misogynistic views of the past and start fully embracing girl power. We want a diverse bond. Well, wait, 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 wait. a couple of things here. One, the person saying it was a woman, so it wasn't misogyny because, you know, I'm so tired of hearing that. It's internalized misogyny. No, it's not. Just like you guys keep saying reverse racism is a thing, well, internalized misogyny is not a thing. So uh, it's a woman who is making the statements. Also, I wasn't done commenting to this. Also, uh, J diverse bond. There could be a new character. Why did you, why? This because it has the same number 007 does not make a James Bond. Well, that's true. But I don't think they're gonna go that route. People want James Bond 007. I right. think they're gonna reset that she'll be 007 for part of the movie. Then he'll either retire or somehow get it back and then we'll just reset it for the next guy. Honestly, they're gonna go with the woman. They probably make it one, uh, uh, probably his daughter or something because he's probably got like 20 of them out there. <laughs> and you know, her name's like, you know, Jillian Bond or something like Jillian that. Jillian Bond. Jillian Bond. <laughs> Jillian Bond. <laughs> Jillian Bond. Um, I'm just saying they'll do something like Jillian that. Jillian Bond. Because that makes sense. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to have a, another character that's Bond. Oh, God. I'm thinking Jillian Michaels. 
in a oh, tux. Oh, yeah, that'd be, be funny, actually. All right. She's, Jim, she's not the one to stick up her butt. Anyway. <laughs> James Bond producer says 007 can never be played by a woman. He is male. No probs. Just like we have Spider-Woman, Captain Marvel, we could have Janet Bond for female James Bond. Pure. Well, that's true. Yeah, it could be or his Jillian. daughter. Because you can't, you're not just going to change it to a woman. Stop doing that. You know, make oh make God. better characters that are female. Problem solved. So here we have a, we have a critic. Uh, James Bond not being a woman makes sense. He's a character defined by his toxic masculinity. Uh, okay. Well, that's not oh, completely untrue. Uh, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, uh, you know, he, he has a way with the ladies. All yeah, the like ladies. Yeah, like this person has in the first half. I'm not going to lie. It's not completely untrue. Um, I would say he's more of a womanizer, you know, kind of thing. Uh, you know, but. Yeah, but you know, they like it. If they like it. If, it's their, if they're into it. If they're into it. Now, sometimes they do that's wind up choice. dead. choice. They do wind up dead occasionally. But that's um, their choice. That not was, to wind up dead. No, but to, to be into it. You know, girls it. like bad boys. It's just what happens. Yep. Because neon's just so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> Um, well, it's okay. No, no, you're into you're into bad boys. I'm an edgy dude, wait, boy, remember? Wait, okay, I am. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you've got bigger balls than I do. Sometimes, yeah. All right, so um, I don't know what else to say to this. This shuts down the argument that James Bond will be a woman. A lot of people have been having this discussion. Actually, Barbara Broccoli seemed pretty pretty uh, irritated that people were even having this conversation, but welcome to 2020. Yeah, well, you you're, you have to, you know, make everything the way they want it to on Twitter or you're in trouble. But just remember, Twitter is really not that big. And the people no. that are the ones screaming the most are very, if you want to talk about vocal minorities, usually these ones screaming the loudest on Twitter are like a tiny group of people, percentage-wise. Yeah, so Pierce Brosnan is weighing in, and Pierce Brosnan is a pretty progressive guy, and he's like, anything's possible, but I think he'll be male and white, he told the, the British, British press association britain's press association about the future of the character in 2015 um so yeah i think they're gonna go with a different race but they're not gonna make a male or make them female <laughs> you know what i mean uh no i'm confused well, my god well this is what he said in 2015 now i think he backpedaled in recent years but he said there's wonderful black actors out there who could uh do bond there's no reason uh to, you know why you can't have a black james bond but female james bond no I think it has to be a male. James Bond is a guy. He's all male. His name is James. His name is James Bond. I agree. It's like, you know, the whole point of the character is a lot of, you know, toxic masculinity or whatever. But there's a lot of, of, of male, it's a very male-centered story. Make a new spy. You want a, a female James Bond? Make a new spy movie franchise with a new character who is like James Bond, but a woman. Oh, but here we go. This is what happens. This is how much things have changed from 2014, 2015. Well, when you to have the pressure year. on there, you know, you want to keep yourself yeah. in good graces with the with certain people. You have right. To. So in December, Brosnan backpedaled, and he told. And I knew I read this before. He told USA Today he was ready for a woman to take over. I'm not. Role. Uh, I think it would be magnificent to see a woman play it. Um, they also talked about how uh, how he, he misses the paycheck. You know what they're gonna do. Uh, if they do a woman, because they don't want to lose the whole rest of the character by him being a womanizer, it's going to be a lesbian. I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying. I am 100% serious. If they have to do a woman, it wouldn't just be okay to be a no, woman. No, she'll do a lot of women. She'll do a lot of women, too, because they have to stay. They'll, stay, they'll want to stay true to the character in that respect. I will bet you million dollars that they would stay true to the character. They would want a woman, but they'd want it to stay true to the character the rest of the way. It's okay if you're a womanizer if you're another woman. And gold member would be a giant... Strap on. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm, I wasn't going to say it, but you said it. I, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I just totally, I 100% believe this. If they would go there and make James Bond a woman, to keep James Bond, James Bond, um, and to keep the, the same idea and feel of the character, the only way it's going to work is if she's a womanizer too. So there are 100, because I, I will, that's what they'd do. But thank God we're not going to get a female James Bond. She's going to stir the martini. I mean, <laughs> well. Uh. I'm just saying, because if you want a female James Bond, uh, go make a new character that is a female and that is a spy like James Bond. I'm just so tired of, of characters suddenly being changed into something they aren't in the name of some agenda, and I'm sick of it. Just progress. Make it's the name of progress. How dare just you? Just make good characters that happen to be women and How that happen to be a spy. You. How very dare you? How dare you say that? the male character can't be a female five people on twitter are going to be very salty and not go see a movie they weren't going to go see anyway i mean yeah i mean it's more than five people but yeah i mean it's just 55 people go make your own movie then go write your own books about a female spy who's like james bond 
Just call her double O with little bullet holes in the O's, you know, because it looks like boobs. And then, and then, you know what? Or then people, you know, then you go make your own and then go get a, um, go get a movie deal. There you go. There you Problem go. Problem solved. There you go. Uh, so there we, there we have it. The authority, at least as long as Barbara Broccoli has anything to do with it. <laughs> James, Broccoli, James Bond is going to be a male. He's, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be a male and he's gonna do male things with, uh, female spies, probably. Well, I don't know. That might be problematic. Maybe we'll have to rein it in a little bit. No, his revenge will make him, will make him gay next. That's, that's it. He'll be male, but, uh, yeah. That, that's, that's what we'll do next. You watch. That'll um, be that. <laughs> because we cannot just have a, a, a straight male character. Um, that's a problem. That is a problem. So we have to change it. All right. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Okay. Nothing more to say. I'm just still liking the double O. Double O, double O boobs. Double O. Because B-O-O-B. -O -O -B. Spells boobs. Well, you have an S in the end. James boobs. boobs. I'm just saying double O. Double Agent o. double O. Double O. What that's, size That's the be? joke. Well, that'd be Agent double D then. <laughs> There we go. That is the new female bond, Agent Double D. I could just see the intro, you know, Double D, and you just see them sort of like bouncing in slow mo, and then you have this like. No, that's, that's problematic. Uh, no, honestly, we all know what. Because if it's going by she has any indication, it would be. Uh, Black chested. It would be triple A. Triple A, like batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Maybe Triple A. So uh, who or would A? Who would sing the the, the theme not, song? There's not such thing as a Triple A. It's a Double A, but still, <laughs> like the batteries. Okay, who would? Uh, we sing, have to have Double something. Who would sing the theme song for Double D? Agent Double D. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like Agent P from. Paris. Yeah, I'm trying to think who would who would uh, sing the theme song. We'd have to have like. But if it's a woman and you know it had woman issues, it wouldn't be Die Another Day. It'd be Cry Another Day. Cry and oh my God. <laughs> Agent Double D and cry another day. <laughs> it's that time of the month. All you want to do is you know, have a heating pad, a blanket, Netflix, and candy, chocolate. <laughs> Thank God she's got a license to kill. But you know what? That PMS, <laughs> she'd be the biggest badass you've ever seen. You know, it's like you look at a cross side, boom, you know? Agent Double D. But then, and but then she'll turn around and cry over a Snuggle Old Bear commercial. So, you know. We're going to wrap this Am up. Am I wrong? You're not, <laughs> you you're not wrong. Me. I'm so Agent make... Double D. <laughs> it's, it's my OC, man. It's my OC. She's Actually, gender. it is Double D, but that's okay. That's my OC. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah, she has to be redhead. Yeah, she has. That's to be problematic too. So yeah, that's all the problematic things you can think of: boobs, red hair, uh, batteries. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have to. Have, I don't have to. I don't have to have batteries. I can get whatever I want. Whenever I want well, there you it, I'm go. Agent Double D. <laughs> My mom's watches right now, and she's Agent in her Double room sewing, and she's dying right now. Uh, as now, I, I speak about this. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up, all so right. so uh, Mama Sparkles doesn't doesn't collapse on the floor. Um, when am I gonna collapse on the floor from the way of the Double D? <laughs> no, from the laughing or sobbing. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll, it's all the time of the month. I'm okay. We'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.